The Lucy Show. Starring Lucille Ball. Co-starring Vivian Vance. to go to that women's club meeting tomorrow afternoon? It won't hurt you. It's a money-raising meeting, and I'm the new committee chairman. Oh. I heard they were trying to raise money by having some stale concert. Whose dumb idea was that? Mine. <laughs> oh. Oh, a concert. Well, the more you think of it, the better you like it. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, who have you lined up for a soloist? I don't have one yet. What difference does it make to you who I get? You always sleep through every concert anyway. <laughs> well, I wouldn't if they got somebody good like Frank Sinatra or Benny Goodman. Mom? Yes, Chris? Would you do me a favor? What is it, dear? Well, I just talked to Cynthia on the phone, and she said the music shop is having a big clearance sale tomorrow. I wondered if you'd get me Bobby Darren's new album. Bobby Darren? I thought you smashed all his records when he got married. <laughs> I know. But one must be adult about these things. <laughs> All right, dear, I'll get it for you. Oh, gee, thanks, Mom. Hello? Oh, hi, Audrey. Saturday night? Well, wait a minute. It's Audrey Simmons. She wants to know if either of us is free for a blind date Saturday night. I'm free, but not for one of her blind dates. <laughs> you go. You're not doing anything. I don't want to go either. Tell her we're busy. Audrey, you can count on one of us. <laughs> <laughs> oh? Oh. I hear nose and throat specialist, huh? <laughs> well, he sounds wonderful. Okay. We'll talk to you later. Bye. What's the matter with you? Now, you know as well as I do that we don't dare turn Audrey down. Why not? Because her husband, Harvey, sells medical supplies and has a pipeline to every eligible doctor in this part of the state. That's why not. Every doctor she digs up makes me sick. <laughs> I want Bobby Darren's latest album. Oh, I'm sorry. I just sold the last one. Oh, dear. Oh, I know how you feel, the way he goes. Yeah, man, and he grooves it, and he leans on that note, and yeah, he puts me away, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't want to be put away, but Chris does. <laughs> oh. Well, I'll check the stock room. Maybe some more came in this morning. Thank you, Grace. Oh, Grace. Yeah. Is that Audrey Simmons? Yes, it is. Dr. Sam Eastman, this is Lucy Carmichael. How do you do, Doctor? How do you do? Nice to know you. Audrey tells me we have a date Saturday night. I must say, I couldn't be more pleased. Well, thank you. I was just saying to Vivian this morning, how does Audrey Simmons find all those attractive men? <laughs> Please, Mrs. Carmichael, you're too kind. Not at all. 
You finding some good records, Lucy? Yeah, uh, yes, yes. Well, we have something in common. Next to medicine, music is my whole life. Oh, mine too. Oh, yes. And not only that, but my whole family adores music. Well, I prefer <laughs> classical, of course. I'm not much for popular music. Oh, me either. <laughs> popular music. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Saturday night, I thought we'd go to a concert. Oh, wonderful. Uh, you've heard Reiner conducting Rubinstein in Rachmaninoff's Rhapsody on a theme of Paganini? <laughs> <laughs> Not lately. <laughs> oh, Sam, here's that album you wanted. Oh, fine, fine. Oh, uh, about Saturday night, uh, I have late office hours. Would you mind if we met at Carnegie Hall about 8? Oh, not at all, anywhere. Good. Bye. Uh, see you Saturday, then. Okay. Bye. Here's Excuse that me. Bobby Darin yeah, album. Yeah, well, wrap it up. <laughs> Gee, Mom, you look pretty. Thank you, Chris. Are you and Dr. Eastman going steady? Oh, heavens no. Why, Mother, you're blushing. Oh, I am not. Well, have a nice time, Mom. <laughs> Lucy? What? You are blushing. <laughs> I didn't know I still knew how. <laughs> Listen, girl, as one old pal to another, do you really enjoy long hair music night after night? Of course, Vivian. Oh, it's so stimulating. I never realized what I was missing. I finally discovered the real me. Uh -huh. Hey, Mom! What, dear? I found it! I found it in the attic! Good. Thank you, dear. What's that? It's a Tommy gun left over from my days with the mob. <laughs> you told me it was a violin! Oh, it is, honey. I was just kidding, Aunt Viv. Say, listen, did you see my music rack up there? I think so. Would you go get it for Mommy, please, dear? Okay. What are you going to do? I used to play this in school. I thought I'd take a few more lessons. Good grief. <laughs> you know, Sam plays a violin. Oh, and I did you a favor. He promised me that he would play at your benefit concert. Oh, well, good. Let's see now, what was my big number? The one that I played at the recital. Oh, yeah. Twinkle, little star. <laughs> well, that's one star that'll never twinkle again. <laughs>
Inviting Dr. Eastman over to meet your musical family. <laughs> well, I had to do something after that miserable goof I pulled last night. Yeah, that wasn't too good. No. Sam loves ballet, but I don't think he cared much for my performance of Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> hey, he'll be here any minute. Give me a hand with Beethoven. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no wonder he wrote such heavy music. <laughs> there. Lucy? What? Do you really think all of this is going to prove that you're a big music lover? Well, it'll create a mood. Yeah, but how long do you think you're going to get by with faking it? What about that ugly day when he discovers that your idea of a classic is you ain't nothing but a hound dog? <laughs> oh, there he is. Oh, Good evening, Sam. Lucy? May I take your coat? Oh, thank you. Sam, I'd like you to meet my friend, Vivian Bagley. Well, how do you do, Mrs. Bagley? Oh, I'm very well, thank you. <laughs> but I'd feel better if you'd call me Viv. Uh, would you hang this in the closet, Mrs. Bagley? <laughs> Won't you come in, Sam? Well, thank you. I well, you have a lovely place here. Thank you. And, and what a novel idea, all these little statues. What statues? <laughs> these busts are famous composers. Oh, those statues. Oh, my. They've been with us so long, I forgot we had them. Won't you sit down? Well, thank you. Yes, do sit down, Viv. Oh, Jerry. Oh, Jerry. Uh... I'd like you to meet Dr. Eastman. This is my son, Jerry. How do you do? How do you do? I, uh, I like your Beethoven sweatshirt, Jerry. Thanks. Can I take it off now, Mom? <laughs> Not yet, dear. Run along. <laughs> uh, you see, he likes Beethoven, but uh, his favorite is Tchaikovsky, but he's in the wash. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like you to meet Dr. Eastman, my daughter, Chris. Uh, how do you do? How do you do, Doctor? La, la, la. <laughs> you certainly have a musical daughter. Uh, yes, I guess it's in our blood. <laughs> Ta -da! was my son, Sherman. Oh. Does he take ballet lessons? No, he gives them. <laughs> this, this is fantastic. Oh, yes. I guess we are quite an unusual little group. <laughs> Doctor, now that you're here, I get so little chance to talk with people who really like good music. I'd uh, like to have Vivian. your opinion on, do you like the way Fritz Reiner Viv. conducts the Cleveland... Viv! Show? Huh. Uh, why don't we play our little musical game for Dr. Eastman? <laughs> well, will you excuse me, please? <laughs> you see, Vivian plays a classical selection, and I guess what it is. Well, sounds like fun. <laughs> Go ahead, dear. <laughs> Ready? Brown. 
Brahms first piano concerto, second movement, 15th, 16th, and 17th measures. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, that was an easy one. Give me something hard. <laughs> Ready? Hold it. <laughs> Appassionata Sonata, Beethoven, first movement. <laughs> Lucy, you're a genius. Oh, it's nothing, really. <laughs> and Viv, you certainly play beautifully. Oh, thank you. Oh, yes, doesn't she play beautifully? Too bad you didn't bring your violin. You could have played duets. Yeah, but I did. Oh. It's in the car. Would you mind? Oh, I'd be delighted. Good, I'll get it. <laughs> well, thanks a lot. I'd be delighted. Well, come on now, what's the matter with you? You're the one who brought up the violin. You're the one who wants to impress him with your big musical family. I'm part of the family. Yeah, well, you're not the part of the family I had in mind. <laughs> now listen to me, Deb. The I am now he's back. <laughs> what luck. I found this book of duets for piano and violin in the trunk of my car. Yes, duets what luck. Piano. Oh, isn't that nice? Oh, this is going to be such a joy. Oh, what a pretty violin. <laughs> Would you like to tune up? Oh, yes. <laughs> Just perfect. We're in tune. <laughs> now then, which one shall we play first? How about this one? It's fine. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Don't you think it's time to rest those ten little fingers? <laughs> she certainly earned a break. Isn't she something, Lucy? Yeah, she's something, all right. <laughs> really, Viv, you're wonderful. Oh, you're the one who's wonderful, Sam. <laughs> oh, I want to thank you for agreeing to play a solo at my benefit tomorrow night. <laughs> well, how could I refuse after Lucy told me you were trying to raise money for a children's hospital? My, you are marvelous. Yes, you're marvelous. Oh, would you like some coffee, Sam? Sam? We played every duet in this book. Oh, no, wait a minute. I just remembered. I have some more music in the car. 101 best love duets. 101? <laughs> Hurry back, maestro. <laughs> oh, this is wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I could just play all night. You already have. <laughs> Oh, nothing. I like sitting on the couch with my arms folded all by myself for two hours. Well, I didn't plan it, Lucy. It was just chemistry. Well, you didn't waste any time turning on your Bunsen burner bag later. <laughs> if you feel that way about it, after all I've done for you, from now on, it's every woman for herself. You bet your sweet life it is. You are pretty I'm jealous. Oh, surprised. he's back. <laughs> I found it. Now, Viv, this, uh, this first piano passage is a little tricky. May I show it to you? Oh, of course, Sam. Thank you. Oh, I didn't know you played the piano, Sam. Why don't you play a solo? <laughs> Sorry, Viv. What happened? Are you all right? I'm all right. Play it again, Sam. 
My, no wonder you play so beautifully. You have exquisite hands. Yes, exquisite. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I don't think anything's broken. Oh, I hope not. Oh, oh I'm terribly hey. sorry. <laughs> Would you be able to play at our benefit tomorrow night? I don't see how. This will be worse tomorrow. Oh, oh, you've got to play at the benefits. All the programs are printed. Everybody expects you. You're the soloist. But I can't with this. Oh, you, you've got to, say. Oh, he ought to know whether he can play or not. He's a doctor. Of course he can't play. Oh, I'm Thanks terribly... to you, I'm chairman of a big nothing. <laughs> oh, now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Maybe you don't have to cancel the benefit. I have an idea. What is it? Well, I play the violin, too, Sam. Oh, I'm still chairman of a big mouth. <laughs> now, listen, Sam, you can still finger the violin with your left hand, can't you? Well, of course. But... Well, if you finger with your left hand and I do the bowing with my right hand, we might make beautiful music together. <laughs> And now, for his first selection, Dr. Sam Eastman will play Brahms Lullaby. Star. 